You need to mow the lawn. I'm making a video. Then make it about mowing the lawn. Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the AnthBot Robot Lawnmower. So this was sent to me by AnthBot to do a review. I've got everything out and I wanna go over what comes in the box. Once we're done, we'll take it out to the backyard. I'll show you how to set it up and we'll get started with the review. This is your RTK module. This is how you get your GPS signal. There's actually a signal indicator light right here. This is your base antenna. And then these threads right here, these are gonna screw into this pole. And there's also your power up here. So your power up is going to power up right here. And it's got a little O-ring in here, so it's weather sealed. This is gonna go on the bottom of the poles to stake into the ground. And this pole, and connect together. So this is your home base or your charging station. So whenever your mower isn't mowing the lawn, it's gonna be on your charging pad. And these two tabs right here, this is where it charges. Starting to charge. You'll mount this into a safe area with these mounts right here. It takes four of them. So to charge it, you're gonna use this charger. And if you notice, it's only got three feet of cable but that's okay because they give you 30 more feet to work with. You don't have to have an outlet nearby. They also give you these, which will secure this into the ground to keep it out of the way. So let's take this into the backyard and get this set up. This is where I decided to put the charging station. Starting to charge. I was so excited to get the genie in the yard that I forgot to give you a proper introduction. Here we go. Introducing the AnthBot Genie 3000. Its high-tech GPS, four smart cameras, and built-in sensors work together to ensure precise location and safe navigation of your lawn, avoiding people, pets, and obstacles, giving you a perfectly manicured lawn and more free time. The Genie adapts to your lawn's needs with an adjustable cutting height, 30 to 70 millimeters. The brushless motor and five-blade design deliver a precise, clean cut. Its innovative blade disc automatically lifts to avoid obstacles, protecting both the mower and your yard. It can mow up to 150 square meters per hour, and its powerful drive system tackles slopes up to 24 degrees. When the battery runs low, it automatically returns to its charging station starting to charge, and resumes mowing where it left off once charged. With a battery rated for 500 charge cycles, replacements are minimized. The Genie automatically returns to its charging station when it detects rain and resumes mowing when the rain stops so your lawn stays neat and tidy. I'm gonna go download the app, then we're gonna make a map of the perimeter of the yard, and then we're gonna let the mower do its thing and we'll see how well it does. I found the quick start guide really helpful and this is where I downloaded the app using that QR code. Now that we're signed into the app, I'm gonna enter the robot. It says I haven't created a map yet, so let's go ahead and create a map. It's giving me a checklist here. It's telling me to maintain three meter distance from trees or buildings for the best GPS signal. I'm gonna say next. When building a map, keep a safe distance from the dangerous boundary areas. And next, keep a safe distance from the machine when you're creating the map and make sure it has at least 50% battery charge. Next again, mapping shouldn't be done at night or in the rain. Next again, you can expand the map and create a restricted area. And next again, make sure your grass isn't too long. And next again, it wants to know if I have a solid green light on the RTK module, and I do. And then it wants to know if I have GPS signal. I do. Control of the robot to begin creating map boundary. So now we're gonna create our map. We're gonna back up, go to the left. And let's go to the grass now.
So try to stay at the edge as best you can. We're gonna make a turn here. We're gonna make another turn here. A turn here. Our final turn right here. And then we're gonna come create our map. Let's try to stay to the edges as best as possible. And there we are, we made our map. You can also use the auto mapping feature. This is best suited for yards like mine with well-defined boundaries. The AI robot, it needs to be able to clearly distinguish the grass from other surfaces for optimum performance. So the only thing I got left to do is enter the robot and start my mowing. And drink a beer. This is how you should be mowing your lawn on a Sunday afternoon. Cheers. That was easy. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about the Genie AI robot mower and the fact that it doesn't use a perimeter wire. Did you think it was as cool as I did? Leave your comments below. My final thoughts on the AmpBot Genie 3000, plug and play baby, comes with the GPS antenna, the base unit, and the mower. And as you can see, it did an excellent job on my grass cutting it. If you want more information, I'm gonna put a link in the description where to buy it and how to get more information on it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't wanna hold